if you had kept going down that path, how would the fight with Brock Lesnar have gone? Uh, I, get, I like to think I would beat him. You know, uh, his striking was really bad, but he beat my train partner, Shane Carlin, but Shane was beating him. Um, like, I've had... To, I think it would have went... I, 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 it, it's, it's tough to say, right, because Brock deserves all the credit. He's such a freak, man. People don't realize, like, you want to talk about a guy getting pushed fast? Like, his first fight, you know, one of his first fights against Heath Herring in the UFC, which is nuts. And Dude, he got he a title him. shot with a one and one record. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He, and, and also, he fought Frank Mayer, dude, in his in in the UFC and early in his career, and then came back and beat him. He fought Randy Couture, like, and he didn't have much experience at all. Didn't have a lot of training. Like, I know guys who were in his training camp. Like, he wasn't like doing the work that I was doing, and he's just that big of a freak. So, I don't know. Brock's an animal, man. But you're talking about a kid coming off, you know, the Crow Cop win. If I would beat Nogueira in Brazil, mm -hmm. my confidence has been pretty high. Mm -hmm. So it, it'd been a, it'd been a good fight, I think. Would he, was he the champion at that time? Uh, Randy, I don't right, think so. I, th I think he was, uh, at that time, I think he might have. No, he lost to um, Cain Velasquez. That's right. Yeah, but yeah. I still, but it's still like back then, bef it was before the Connor era. Brock was the Connor. So it's like oh, the, yeah. it was the money fight. UFC 100 was, you know, made so much money because Brock is attached to that. Correct. And it's funny because Frank Mir is like, yeah, Brock made a lot of money on that. Yeah. And uh, I didn't see any of the gate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Brock made stupid money, man. And he's a good dude, too. Yeah? A gr yeah, great guy. Like, because when he was fighting uh, Shane, I was fighting. The way they did it, the story behind it was Brock Lesnar's training partner, Chris Tushisher, who was 20 and 1 at the time, they were best friends and training partners. Shane Carwin and I are best friends and training partners. So Shane versus Brock, Brendan versus Chris. Mm. So it's like the the little brothers are fighting. And so he was 20 and one. I was the main event on the undercard before that big UFC. So I kicked the pay-per-view off. And so um, I talked all this shit, not about my opponent, Chris Tushar, he's whatever, about Brock Lesnar. <laughs> and so the UFC was giving me an award for, and it was like on the Thursday or Friday before the fight, they're giving me an award and we're all together, and Brock's there. I'm like, oh, no, I've talked all this shit. <laughs> and my, I remember my coach, I went, hey, just be ready to go, man. Like, I have I fucked up. There he is. I didn't think we'd run into each other. I was like, be ready to go, man. He's with some big boys. And uh, the, my coach's name at the time was Leister Bolton. He's a savage. He's like, I'll be ready to go, man. He's like this little ball of muscle. I'm like, just be ready to go, dude. And we get up there, and I'm like, on, I'm, I'm on edge. And Brock was just the night. He, like, killed me with kindness. Mm. And was like, oh, dude, I'm so proud of you, man. Like, from football, to, are you kidding me, man? He's like, good for you, brother. Good for you. I get it, man. And I was like, oh, wow, you're, like, the nicest guy ever. Wow. Yeah, he was, like, such a good person. Such a good person. Yeah. With I was like, oh, I don't want to fight this guy. He's <laughs> so cool. You know? 